Good day everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Tamara Kukshinovich and I'm going to take you through Hammerson's year-end results. Hammerson is a property company that focuses on the retail sector, mainly in the UK. It has flagship destinations in the UK, France and Ireland. The group's dividend yield is trading above its long-term average and is well above the yield offered by its peers. Management has a target to keep the dividend stable as the company focuses on reducing debt. The debt will be reduced by a target disposal of £500 million, as well as the UK retail parks which were valued at £873 million as at 31 December 2018. This amounts to approximately 14% of the total property portfolio value. The current proportionally consolidated loan-to-value ratio is 43%, which is above the target of 40%. UK assets account for approximately 40% of the total property portfolio value. Currently, the counter is trading at a 60% discount to its net asset value of 709 pence per share. We believe the net asset value is too high and should approximate to 440 pence per share, trading at a 35% discount. We did a sensitivity analysis on the loan-to-value ratio. For the company to reach its loan-to-value ratio target of 40%, the company would have to dispose 50% of its property at a discount of 35%, which increases the target disposal. Alternatively, they would have to cut dividends, which would contradict the current guidance of a stable dividend. We feel the current dividend yield is unsustainable. More risks include accelerating CVA activity, higher tenant failures due to the structural shift in retail to online, resulting in lower sales and footfall in the UK, and weak investment markets. We believe the share has value and some of the risks are reflected in the price. However, given the excessive gearing and that the dividend is at risk, we recommend an underweight position relative to the SA All Property Index. Net rental income decreased by 6.2%. The like-for-like -like investment properties income decreased by 1.5% due to the tenant failures and the reduction in surrender premiums. Acquisitions added £4 million to net rental income and disposals reduced it by £32 million. Developments increased net rental income by £8 million. Vacancy rates increased to 2.8%. Property costs increased by 1% due to the costs related to tenant failures. Total operating costs decreased by 4.3% and the gross cost to income ratio increased to 21.9%. Interest expense decreased by 26.1% which was offset by a decrease in interest income. The loss for the year amounted to £268 million, mainly due to the net revaluation losses on the property portfolio, net losses on property disposals and lower revaluation gains on the premium outlets portfolio. A year in dividend of 14.8 pence per share was declared, which amounts to a final dividend of 25.9 pence per share. The group's gearing increased to 63%. On a fully proportionally consolidated basis, the group's gearing increased to 79%. The loan-to-value ratio increased to 43%. The weighted average interest rate was 2.7% and the weighted average maturity of debt decreased to 5.4 years. The interest cover ratio remained stable at 3.4 times and the net asset value decreased by 9.8% to 709 pence per share. In conclusion, we would recommend an underweight exposure relative to the SL Property Index, which has a weighting of 1.7% in the counter. If you would like to place a trade, please speak to your financial advisor or contact the dealing desk. A comprehensive company analysis report on Hammerson can be found on the PSG online trading platform. Before we end off, please take note of the following disclaimer. Thank you.